I'm talking to you. We're not talking about hockey or maple syrup, though. We're talking about real estate. Holy crap. I don't know if that was racist or not. I apologize if it was racist. I thought it was kind of funny. I don't know. I'm Irish. I'm short, and I like to fight and drink. So is that racist? Maybe. I don't know. But if you told me something like that, you made a joke about that to me, I would probably laugh. I think it's all good fun. So no offense, Canadians. I mean, who doesn't like coffee and syrup? But anyway, we're not talking about that, folks. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about investing in United States real estate, okay? That's what we're talking about. Specifically, short term rental property investing and how I can make Canadian investors like you a bunch of money invested in this stuff. Let's jump into it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. I will be your host to help you get involved in U.S. real estate investing, right? This is a personalized video, a personalized show, okay? Today, we are working with my man, Tapu. Tapu is from Pakistan, moving to Canada, coming to join all y'all Canadians out there, right? And he wants to invest in some real estate, but he don't want to do it in Canada. He wants to do it in the good old U.S. of A. Why? Because the good old U.S. of A, cheaper real estate prices, number one. Number two, well, some of them. Some areas, the area he's specifically investing in, definitely. I don't want everybody in Canada like, ah, it's cheap right here, bro. I get it. Like L.A., California, uh, price is insane. New York, same thing. I gotcha. Certain areas of the U.S. of A, though, very, very cheap, okay? That's one. Number two, much more landlord-friendly than a lot of the areas in Canada, right? So, Tapu, you've enlisted me to help you invest in some very landlord-friendly states with very, very low prices. And we're going to do high-end short-term rentals, brother. High-end short-term rentals that you can handle completely passively because my team is going to do all the work for you on the ground. Now, folks, everybody else watching Tapu's video, as I said, these are personalized private videos. I sent this to him months ago, so nobody call my company or send me an email trying to buy this deal. It's not available. I don't release them publicly on Holton Wise TV till the deal is done. If you want to get with me, though, work with me one-on-one, -on -one, invest in short-term rentals in America from Canada, I would love the opportunity to work with you. Send my team an email. Give us your number. We'll hop on the phone, book a call, talk to you about the process. I got links in the show notes below to get you started there as well. And if all that doesn't sound like something you want to do, at least stick around, subscribe, because I think we do a lot uh, of things here on Holton Wise TV, teaching investors like you how to invest that you could apply right there in your home market, right? So that's my spiel. Enough of that, though. What we really need to do is get into how the sausage is made, man. Let's get into the details of structuring this short-term rental deal. We're going to do so right after this quick break. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Now is the juicy part of the show, right? The, the juicy part where we actually get into the real deals, crunch the numbers for real. This, this is a sweet property, okay? Check this out. Newer build, right? Was, I wrote it down. It was built in like 05 or 06, right? Somewhere in there. Now, that means it does not have a new construction tax credit, okay? There's no tax abatement. It would have to be brand new. But if it was brand spanking new, we'd probably be paying like 500 k for it. We're not going to do that. Now, here's the thing. This property, it looks like it's like set up as a townhouse, but there's no HOA None of that stuff, which is good. We want to avoid that stuff when we're doing short-term rentals, right? Because the HOAs, you know, they have the ability to write rules, change rules with votes, and you don't want to get into an investment, find you can't do short-term rentals, number one. Number two, you don't want to get into investment that you can do short-term rentals, but out of your control since you don't have the majority of votes in the HOA down the road, they, you know, make it illegal for you to do, right? You don't want the HOA getting in your way, right? So this one... 
No HOA, which is good. Sweet looking deal. Super modern construction. We're like right downtown in Tremont, right? And that's really cool because one of the highlights of this property is how tall it is. It's three stories and it's got that badass rooftop deck, right? You got your rooftop deck and you got this deck too, right? So like this is a pretty high deck and then this thing huge, right? You're like four stories up somewhere like that. I mean, that's sweet. Uh, well, three stories. I don't know. See, so you're... First story, fourth, first story is your garage, so then I guess that would be on the second story. Yeah, three or four, I don't know. You're freaking high up, man, and you got sweet views of downtown. Look at that. That's perfect, right? And since we're doing short-term rentals, folks, this is, this is what we're selling, right? We are selling this, right? We are selling the Indian Stadium. Sorry, Wokies, the Guardian Stadium now, right? We are selling the Cleveland Browns. We are selling the Q. We are selling the casino. We are selling the Hard Rock Cafe. We are selling all types of stuff, right? Those are the touristy stuff that people do when they come to Cleveland. You're right freaking there. In addition, Tremont, you hear about the resurgence in Cleveland, right? Tremont, it's like one of the hottest neighborhoods, right? In addition to that, we are incredibly close to multiple hospitals, Metro, University, uh, Cleveland Clinic, right? So what that does is that attracts us uh, short-term rentals for, like, uh, contract nurses, traveling nurses, right? So these are people that will rent the property for, like, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, stuff like that, right? Up to six months sometimes, okay? They're looking for furnished rentals, right? So all the hospitals, they're over in this area, right? This is where these kind of people want to be, right? So location, location, location. The location itself can't get any better. And then the property, it's pretty badass, man. It's like 15 years old. You don't have any lead-based paint stuff to worry about. Fresh, open concept. It's going to be great for those traveling nurses. Also great for people vacationing, right? We literally are providing people everything they need, right? This sucker checks off all the boxes. No work needs to be done to it other than furnishing it, right? We got to furnish it. And then other than that, by the way, this is up by the rooftop deck. You got the nice little wet bar in here, right? Tell me that's not badass for uh, parties when people are vacationing, man. That's pretty slick, okay? All right, just a ton of other new construction, as you can see, right? The neighborhood, it don't get any sweeter than this, folks. And, of course, we got a garage. There's another shot of downtown, Nice 15-year roof, in-suite laundry, blah, 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 blah. All told, it's a bad-ass house. But you ain't going to live in the sucker. Now, I mean, of course, if you want, when you uh, do want to come into town, you could, of course, stay in your own home. But how badass it is, if it doesn't make you money, who gives a shit, right? So let's talk about the money. Here's the deal. We got to do some work, or I got to do some work on your behalf. Because right now, the seller's asking 499000 is been on the market for 138 days. That is an eternity in Tremont. For a property this fucking cool, there's a problem. It should have sold immediately. Problem is, the seller got too cocky. Thought they could get the same price that the brand spanking new ones are getting, right? The ones with tax abatements. They couldn't. Seller tried listing it for like 550 or something in there. I don't got it on the chart uh, on the page anymore, but the seller originally listed this at like I think it was five sixty four nine. Okay, way too fucking high. Then they dropped it down to four ninety nine. Still too high in my opinion. So I got to get in there and try to beat the seller up on your behalf. I want to try to pick this up for you for four fifty four hundred fifty. Now that's a good starting point. We could probably go up and get it like ten fifteen twenty k if need be, right? But I think 450 is where I want to start this. And then no repairs. We're going to need to put in 25 k worth of furnishings, right? We want to get that premium uh, furnishings, make it badass, sleep as many people as we can so we can get a maximum amount of average nightly rent, right? So 475 would be the all-in investment. Then what we're looking at is if we were to uh, uh, rent that bad boy at 400 bucks a night, Right, that'd be twelve thousand four hundred for the month, hundred forty-eight thousand eight hundred for the year. But don't get freaking crazy. Don't pop champagne bottles on me just yet. We ain't renting the sucker every single day. That's not how it works, right? We're looking at an average occupancy of sixty-two percent. Yes, it's going to be more in the warm months. It's going to be less in the cold months. It's going to be higher when we get those nurses and people like that in there for 30, 60, 90 days at a time, okay? This is average. It's all should, is anticipated to fluctuate out 
to the 62% occupancy, right? So I believe you should be making after everything, my team operating it, my team being the super host, my team doing everything on your behalf, bookings, showings, fixing repairs, cutting the grass, the whole friggin' shebang, right? It's all listed on the chart. You should make an average of four thousand one hundred fifty-seven seventy a month, or almost fifty k a year, right? Now, this is where it gets super juicy, right? This is why real estate's so banging. This is why it's so awesome. How cheap mortgages are these days, right? Are all in investments four seventy-five. All you need to put out of this, out of your pocket, is one hundred thirty-seven and a half, right? That's going to be one hundred and twelve and a half for your down payment, and then of course you can't get your mortgage lender to pay for your fucking furniture, so you got to tack that on there, right? So one hundred thirty-seven and a half. That's all you got to pay, and then we're going to get the bank to give you three thirty-seven and a half. That is going to net out to what I believe should be a 24% cash on cash return. And you are in one of the neighborhoods in Cleveland that should see the most appreciation because this is an A-grade neighborhood. They're still pumping out new construction into this area. Uh, as a matter of fact, the person that bought this last bought it for 384. This neighborhood is going to keep going up, right? Keep going up they're continuing to just inject money and money into this area so cleveland not necessarily a market uh that you should look at for speculation I'll tell you that right now if you're looking to be a spec investor cleveland's probably not it okay but if you're looking for cash flow you're looking to get in at a budget that's where you should be cleveland here's the deal if you're going to invest in cleveland though right not all neighborhoods are created equal if we're hoping to get some type of appreciation this the friggin' neighborhood we're gonna try to do it in. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.